Hey watch fam, it's Phil here at the Loom Room, thanks for checking in. Uh, today we've got something really special, I am going to be showing you the new limited edition Seiko 5 Kazuki Kawamura, and apologies if I've butchered the name there, limited edition, this one especially in this colourway, which is the dark rhodium grey, and the, I'm going to call it an aqua blue, I know some people are saying that it's more of a, a green or a teal, but this one is limited to 500 pieces, so I thought that was very, very short production. Certainly in terms of Seiko watches, we know that they're a huge manufacturer. And I've got to say, happy days, this one aligns perfectly, I've checked the bezel. I thought we'd do a very short video on this one, I'm not going to be talking through it. We all know what these Seiko 5 Sport watches are, we've seen a thousand of them, we know what the specs are. So I just really wanted to show this one off, especially with this one being such a short run, because it is 500 pieces worldwide. There was another colourway as well which had instead of that dark smoky rhodium grey or dark charcoal black it was actually an orange colour and that went with the, the aqua blue or the teal whichever colour you want to call that so that was that was super cool as well but that one was limited to 3000 pieces so probably a bit easier to get your hands on. I do think they have sold out. I know that this one sold out in under 24 hours and I don't think the other one, the orange one, limited to 3000, I don't think that was far behind this one but just a super cool piece. From its foundation it's very basic, it is just the Seiko 5 sports that we know and love so there's no screw down crown. It has got that movement that we all know and love which is the 4R36 and you get to see that uh, the actual reference for this one SRPJ43K1 this is just your standard Seiko 5 swing tag actually. And the other cool thing as well, look at that kanji wheel. This is so interesting, the dial on this, the bezel on it, uh, the handset that they used for it, like I mentioned, the, the kanji date wheel. Uh, it is a transparent dial, uh, some are calling this a skeleton dial. It is actually, it's not skeletonized, it is just transparent with those colours. But all the markers and everything like that, it can be quite busy when you first look at it. But once you know where to focus for your day and date and how to tell the time etc, it all becomes clear, excuse the pun. Uh, so it does have some pretty cool loom on this one as well, I will do a, a loom shot later on in the video. So the hands are loomed, uh, you can see that the pearl or the 12 o'clock dot just at the top there on the bezel. This is unidirectional, this bezel. And there is uh, also a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of loom just above that red triangle where it says zero. It comes with a, a, a super cool box. Uh, it actually came with a poster as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, it just kind of hits home that this is a true limited edition. Taking inspiration from the 60s right the way up to today's watches, today's Seiko 5s, there's bits and bobs everywhere uh, that they've, have, they've plucked um, throughout the ages to put this one together. I'll show you the case back as well, that's transparent and this one is numbered, it has got etched numbering on the back to tell you that, that there is only 500 pieces of this which I love, it's a true limited edition. I absolutely adore it, I think it's super cool and I think if they're going to do limited editions they need to do more things like this where it's just so different from the standard models. Without further ado, let's check the watch out. <laughs> 